Okay. One of the, this is the series of webinars organized together with NN Plus. Um, this is the, the EU funded project. And this webinar is organized together with the University of Pisa. The series of webinars are uh, conducted under this project uh, for them together with our HR representatives from different companies, mostly from the ENS corporate members. And today we have a pleasure to have uh, Karin Bastin, who is the HR manager uh, of the GE Healthcare, with her two colleagues being online. So, Karin, could you say, could you present your company, please? Yes, of course. Um, but I have to correct first. You said I'm a country manager of G Healthcare. That's not the case. I'm the country HR manager of G Healthcare. So uh, <laughs> I'm uh, only responsible for the human resources. Um, so um, G is um, is a big company. I think it's kind of known uh, by by a lot of people. Um, General Electric is about 300,000 employees around the world. Um, for G Healthcare, which only um, 54,000. Um, we are all about precision health. And um, to tell you more about the company, what we do, I'll let uh, Jeroen do that a bit later because, because he's our marketing leader and he can sell the company much, uh, much better than I do. I'm very proud of being G. We are working a lot at talent uh, acquisition, at talent retention. We have, um, we have great employees um, and we are uh, constantly looking for talents and uh, for people to come and join us so we are uh, looking for uh, talented motivated uh, uh, multilingual uh, people skilled uh, employees uh, willing to make a difference um, at g healthcare it is more than customer satisfaction, we are um, talking about um, about patient satisfaction, about patient's life, about precision health. And um, we have various departments, obviously. We, um, we have like every big organization, we have back office, we have sales, uh, um, um, we have a tender quotation team, um, we have a service uh, service um, department. Um, what is more specific about GE Healthcare, we have, uh, we well, we're selling MRI, ultrasounds, devices, but also products. We have a department, biopharma, life science. Um, it's, um, um, you, at GE, you get the opportunity to grow, to evolve together with the company all the time. So that's uh, that's what I can say about GE so far. Um, would you like to let uh, Jeroen and Kevin um, talk about about their project, or would you like me to to show the presentation first? I think it will be easier first to understand what GE uh, is, and then maybe to. We have here uh, something from uh, Kevin and Jeroen. Okay then, um, Jeroen, could you give us a word about um, what what does GE Healthcare? Yeah, absolutely. I hope you can uh, you can hear me well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The the way I always uh, explain it is um, if you look at a patient pathway when he goes to a hospital. GE is present during the, the full pathway. So when a patient goes to the hospital, he has to be diagnosed. Um, and we have imaging systems that can help uh, doing that. We have MRIs, we have CT scanners, we have mammography systems, we have ultrasound, um, and so on. And then the patient comes to the next phase, he gets the diagnosis, and then we need a treatment. So we have the therapeutics part, where we have our interventional systems that can help um, uh, yeah, help heal the patient. And then we come to the third phase where we have the, the, diagno the monitoring part. So the patient had the therapy and now we need to monitor if the therapy went well or if we need to, uh, to diagnose again to, mo to, uh, to image the patient again. And there a GE is present during the whole pathway. So, uh, well. Okay. okay, Kevin, is would you like um, to say a few words? No, is this good for you? Is yes, it clear? Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
shall I just uh, show it um, in a few images what we do? Yes, please. Okay, then. Um, if you can give me control to share my screen then, that would be great. Uh, you have the right. I do. Okay, let me see. All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Maybe uh, Kevin and Yarun, if you could uh, disappear for the moment, it would be good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, then. Um, so, you have just heard uh, Yarun. And um, let me give you um, a word because it's all uh, for me. It's all about um, GE employees. Um, so, for instance, I think it's kind of uh, interesting for uh, young professionals and uh, and last year students to understand how people are growing here. Um, so we start from talent acquisition. Um, Yeroen started. Uh, with a, a Master of Arts, then he went um, he went on um, with uh, uh, started his uh, career at KPMG, and then he went on to um, GE Healthcare. He's here for nearly three years. He started with a CLP, and I'll let him uh, I'll let him explain uh, himself afterwards uh, what a CLP is. Um, it's a commercial leadership program, and it's a program we are very proud of. Um, it's a two years program where um, talents have the opportunity to um, look at the different sides of the um, the roles and what GE does in um, all the around, all around the world so um, I'll, I'll let him talk about it uh, afterwards um, we also have um, a big team of uh, engineers of field engineers here um, in Brussels and uh, one of them is uh, Genji Genji Flippo um, he, he got a master at the Karel de Groten in Antwerp and started as a field uh, service engineer. So what does a field engineer do? He, um, they, um, they give technical support to customers. So they go um, giving support to the medical systems uh, within the various hospitals. Um, it can be to install a new system, it can be uh, to intervene when necessary, and of course maintenance. Um, so we have uh, various disciplines. Uh, in this case, um, it was specialized for vascular mammography. Um, <clears throat> and uh, what he's um, doing now is actually um, leading a team of um, of um, trying to, you can't see everything, I guess. So let me hide this. Okay. Um, so and there is my picture and shouldn't be there. So, okay. Can you see my screen uh, fully or or not? I hope you can. Um, so. He's now, um, he's now leading a team of uh, 17 uh, field engineers. Then we have, uh, I can't go to the next slide. Yes, I am. For instance, we have uh, Gregory. I'm just going to ask you a minute. Great to see from, see from the current that there are so many different profiles what the GE Healthcare is looking for. So it's just really not only one profile. What uh, is after the engineering? Uh, what uh, what you are looking for? But really all range of uh, of uh, people who can bring uh, their skills into the company. Okay, Absolutely. I will let you continue. <laughs> if you have here um, uh, Gregory, Gregory Verbrugge. Um, he is uh, responsible for the education. Uh, uh, he's Benelux Education Manager. So he started as an education specialist um, in, uh, in CT. Um, and he's now um, leading a team of um, uh, 12 people. 
Um, he started with um, a bachelor in medical imaging, uh, went on um, with um, a banner in marketing. He worked a few years um, in a hospital uh, in Brussels. We do have uh, some talents that they start their career in a hospital and then they come over to GE. So um, for a while he was a product clinical specialist in CT and now is a Benelux education manager. So as you see, we um, at GE you are, it's more than a job. If you're looking for a job, you shouldn't come to us. Um, if you are looking for a career, then yes, we need to talk. I go back to you, Emilia. Yes, thank you very much. Would you like to show first the video what you were sharing before? Yes, uh, I think I sent you the link, didn't I? Um. Uh, give me, give me a second. Then I need to show to stop sharing my screen. <coughs> and look for it, just a moment. Okay, um, we have a little technical uh, break here in the webinar, but uh, yes, uh, I think it is quite interesting to see that uh, there's also after the medicine and uh, nuclear medical studies, the people are turning to the uh, turning to the uh, companies, which gives them another way of developing and getting new skills. Um, of course, if you are working for one hospital, there are the mobility issues might be difficult, uh, mobility opportunities, why probably in the G healthcare, you can, uh, you can travel a bit more and uh, change uh, positions from one to another, because it's a huge company giving you already a lot of opportunities. Karin, are you back with us? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you well. Um, okay. uh, let me share my screen this time to show you the video I was talking about. Um, <clears throat> All right, can, can you see my screen now? I will make your once again a presenter. Okay, I will disappear. Okay, are we okay? Yes. Okay, good. There is a problem of presenting the videos. Yes, so it seems. There is, uh, Karin, there is no sound. And then we see now once again the, the same characters that you mentioned. Say special. OK. 
Karen, could you, could you unmute yourself because I'm not able to do it? Oh, yes, no. I am unmuted. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I suggest that we go to um, to Kevin in order for him to explain uh, where he's uh, coming from, what uh, what was his um, his background so far, and what he's been uh, doing at GE these last years. What do you think? Perfect, Kevin Degelar. The floor is yours. <laughs> okay. Can you all see me and hear me? Yes, very good. Okay. Yes, very good. Perfect. So I'm um, I'm Kevin Wegelaar. I've been um, at GE for around three years now. Um, I'm a field engineer in the in MR primarily uh, together with PET, so combination PET MR and also uh, on the nuclear modalities. Um, my background is I have a master's in uh, civil engineering with, uh, with an option on biomedical engineering. And what does an FE actually do uh, within GE Healthcare uh, for this high-end biomedical products? So we maintain your device. Um, so from A to Z, we also do interventions. Um, it can be simple, but also very complex multi-system uh, multi problems. Uh, we also modify uh, equipment proposed by, by engineering. Um, and we also do the follow-up and the final calibrations for uh, new installations or upgrades. Uh, most of all, we do customer service, um, which is of course uh, an attitude uh, here at GE. Also, um, GE allows actually um, it, it also allowed me to uh, travel a lot because uh, uh, for all this uh, high-end biomedical equipment, we need to get trainings. And uh, therefore, we are, uh, the training center is over in Chicago. So we go uh, back and forth a lot to, to learn um, about this equipment. Uh, as well, separately from, there, from that, you can continue on learning through uh, different uh, applications that we have here at GE, which is, one is GE Learning and uh, as well Brilliant U, where you can get uh, uh, technical trainings, but also uh, more psychological leadership. So it, um, it covers a lot, of, a, a lot of topics. So <laughs> that's my uh, introduction. <laughs> I think for young people who are entering the companies, it's also important that they have the opportunity of developing. So it is very interesting to here the path of, I mean, the, the training opportunities and, and mobility opportunities. Uh, that's the possibility of traveling and, and uh, learning new skills. My mm -hmm. question is to you will be uh, how important the sales skills are for uh, in, the, in your job? Because of course you have the, you are the, uh, have a background uh, as an engineer and uh, sometimes mm -hmm. it happens very often that the engineers uh, are not maybe the best seller. So did you have any kind of soft skills training to uh, to present and to sell the, say the, the product of uh, the healthcare on top of this? We, we are having soft skills training through GE Learning, um, which is based on customer service, um, on how to uh, follow up with the customer on specific problems, um, and to also ensure that communication with the customer uh, is optimal. So this is done. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Um, 
Are other our attendees to have any any questions? We have, uh, for example, Jan Velotic. <laughs> I will call him to the board as the classes. Okay, not many questions for the moment. Maybe we could hear what um, what Yahoo has to say about the CLP program. It's a, it's a very interesting um, um, program that um, that people need to hear about. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes. Can you see me? Yes, very well. Okay, so my story started uh, three years ago, approximately. Uh, I already had two years work experience in, uh, in another big company uh, doing marketing, but I was not sure um, where I wanted to go in the next five years. Uh, I, I knew it was something commercial, but I was not sure, do I want to do marketing, sales, product management? It was still a bit vague. And then uh, I saw the, uh, the vacancy on the internet. I read uh, the short summary and immediately I said, okay, I have to do this. It's a great experience. And so uh, in September 2016, I started uh, at GE, which, which uh, started with a, a CLP summit, which was in, in Budapest in Hungary, where I met uh, colleagues from all over the world so it was a global summit and immediately you could feel the power of a of a huge company like like GE and and the global footprint it has so uh, the already the first week uh, it struck me that, that, that this is a, a real added value of the company that you have all these different cultures which you can learn from and throughout uh, the full uh, commercial leadership program so throughout the two years uh, I could see it coming uh, coming back now these two years they uh, they are being split into four parts of six months so that meant that every six months I changed position to try out uh, a new role my first role was in sales then I did a bit of strategy then I went to product management and then finally to uh, to marketing again now, the, the added value of the program is that uh, thanks to the visibility that you get, um, we had the opportunity to talk to the leadership. So that means the, the CEO, the CFO on a European level, um, uh, you know, it's stuff like round tables, uh, dinners where we discuss our, our future, our future vision for the company. They share their vision. And then it's, it's really an interesting opportunity that you would not have if you just uh, if I would have just started uh, as a sales specialist, for example. So it, it opened a lot of doors. Um, our team was uh, consisted of eight people throughout Europe. So we worked very, very closely. And on the slide that uh, Karin showed earlier, you could see some some pictures with the with the other uh, CLPs, as we call them. Uh, and I have to be honest, uh, all, all uh, seven other CLPs, they're now uh, really good friends of mine. So it was not only professionally uh, a great experience, but also uh, for my private, uh, private life, um, they're now all, all friends. Um, that being said, the learning possibilities that you have there, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, in these parts of six months, you get a lot, a lot of responsibility. So expectations are, are also high. You need to deliver, but the amount of, of learnings that you can get is, is enormous. And then after the two years, um, I got a great opportunity. So leadership also trusts that uh, this program will help you develop. And I got a great opportunity to now become uh, the marketing leader for Belgium, Netherlands, uh, and, and, and Luxembourg, uh, for which I'm very, very grateful. And I'm, I'm trying my very best to, uh, to deliver results here. Uh, so that was my, uh, my story. Thank Fantastic. you. It's very positive and uh, really enthusiastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, um, I have maybe one, uh, one question because uh, to, to Karin. Um, we just had a recently uh, Women in Nuclear uh, Belgium event here. Uh, so I wanted to ask you about the gender balance 
uh, and your approach, do you consider this as an uh, important um, important um, condition and hiring the people? What is the policy regarding the uh, gender balance? Well, we don't have a, a policy as such, um, but um, we have values and um, we, we are trying very much. Obviously, um, it's uh, it's a bit of a man's world. I mean, uh, this is a, a, a technical um, uh, world and um, you just have more male engineers than female engineers, obviously. Uh, on the other hand, GE is very much active on that side. So we have um, a GE Women's Network. We are um, very much uh, every year, I just finished it a week ago, um, we are looking at the other numbers and we're trying to, uh, to attract women um, to to this uh, this world um i'm very proud to say that last year we had our first um female um field engineer and uh, and she's doing just uh, just great um we're really happy with that um or we have a kind of um i'm not going to say a lot but um Sales are more represented um, in this um, in this particular line of uh, of job um, because it's all about communication, coordination, and yes, it is technical, but still um, the way women communicate about um, um, about patients and about uh, selling solutions um, is well represented. Uh, we have. Um, um, or highest uh, manager here in Belgium uh, is a woman, um, uh, or um, or um, or general manager uh, who's based in um, in in Paris. Um, Catherine Stramps is um, is uh, is a woman. Um, so yes, we we are very much looking into that. We are very active. Um, currently, we have about twenty percent. Uh, so one out of five um, is a, is a woman. Um, okay. So could I could I say a few words about the vacancies that we have actually? Yes, uh, this is the most important part. For that end, I guess. Concretely, um, so we are looking for a trainee field service engineer. So at GE, we work a lot with internships where we give the students or young professionals uh, the opportunity to come and taste the job for a year. And um, at the moment, we are looking for trainee uh, service engineers, field service engineers, in one for vascular in uh, Charleroi, one for CT <laughs> in the Flanders, one uh, for MRI, but it would be then the South uh, Luc, Liège, uh, in the side of the Ardennes, and one for ultrasound and nuclear um, in Leuven. So our field engineer often, um, they are very much on the road. They're going to our clients, so they don't come, obviously, they don't come every day to the office. So we are often looking at the location, where do they live, and do we have sites around the, that area in order for to, to make their, their life, their work-life balance uh, uh, more agreeable? Work-life balance is a, is a high priority um, at GE. So I have um, a, another vacancy, more sales, sales support actually. We're looking for a um, sales support healthcare coordinator. Um, it's uh, it's administration and support of operation management. So that person would be responsible for administrative support of the tender in the tender and quotation team. Uh, it includes uh, analytic, analytical work and report processing and management of uh, department uh, communication needs. And then we are looking for a service center specialist. Uh, so it's the the, the heart of um, of the company here in Brussels, we have a service center, and these people are in the middle of 
clients and field engineers and uh, trying to fill their needs and try to put the, the, the right field engineer at the right spot at the right time. So I'm guessing that Kevin is uh, calling us from a client on a location somewhere, uh, mm -hmm. but they are, they are often on the road. Um, so we are looking for someone like that, and that person would be um, is the primary contact between the customer and GE Healthcare Service Support. Um, they, we we value very much. Uh, we value um, highly our customers, and uh, this is all about customer satisfaction and ultimately patients' lives. So okay. these are the vacancies, the the hot vacancies to fill in at the moment. For the moment, yes, fantastic, very good. Thank you very much. Um, do we have any questions from the attendees coming? If not, then I have one question, <laughs> another one. <laughs> okay, uh, so my question is, um, because the NN Plus project, uh, the EU-funded project, what we are organizing the uh, webinars uh, for, uh, the aim is to attract young generation to nuclear career but not only so we are i mentioned mentioned generally we you mentioned also the stem subject how important they are do you have any programs educational programs dedicated to school pupils like uh not maybe kindergarten but the primary school secondary school attracting children to stem subjects um, we don't have it right now. Right now, so young, uh, no. Um, we are we are trying to offer um, visits to all sites. They do that mainly oh, okay. in France. We do that sometimes in Belgium, but they are more university students. So mm -hmm. um, we, I personally, I do give some uh, leadership workshops in high schools, in order for. Um, the last year students to find their talents and to also to open their minds and also to girls um, talking about technical uh, technical jobs. Yes, that, but we don't have any specific program uh, in place uh, at the moment, um, but we're always open to do so. Um, it does exist in France. And uh, what we do, but it's at an employee level, um, we'd like to, um, we do open our doors um, once a year to our children in order for them to see what we are doing. Okay, yeah. this is very But I think every, every parent should do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm very impressed about the uh, enthusiasm, what is coming from the employees uh, from you. So this is really truly believers in the uh, the profile and uh, how important the AG Healthcare is doing, what is doing. Uh, thank you very much, Karin, for your explanation of uh, what are the profiles are you're looking for, what is the healthcare, and uh, good luck with your uh, searching for the best talents. Uh, if ENS can help somehow with this, I will be happy to share. Uh, so as I mentioned, the record of the webinar will be put on our ENS YouTube channel with, uh, with allowance of Karen, and uh, we will be happy to, to promote further our corporate members' activities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.